Hey beauties, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our last two Ruby Kisses Cosmetics unboxings. So if you guys want to find out why these are my last two unboxings as well as see what I got for the month of June and July as well as a makeup look with some of these products then just make sure you keep on watching if you are new to my channel and you haven't done so yet then please subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos show your support give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends and don't forget to comment at the end of this video and let me know if you guys like the look we'll be creating today without further ado let's get into it don't give us that paparazzi baby you know they always trying to get me a million dollars at the night scene Disclaimers, this video is sponsored. It is not being paid. Products were gifted on behalf of Ruby Kisses Cosmetics and We Essentials. I was on their PR list since January. And again, we will be getting into that in a second. So these are my last two gifted boxes. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything from Ruby Kisses Cosmetics from today's video, all links will be mentioned in the description box below. So check that out timestamps as well as other disclaimers and ftcs will be down there as well as always reviews and opinions are 100 percent honest and authentically me because i am me and you are you and we are all unique in our own way even if we have the same skin and body and beauty concerns what products may work for me still may not work for you so always keep that in mind now let's get into our june and july unboxings all right guys, so we have our ambassador card that always comes in our boxes. And of course, we have box number one and box number two. I'm gonna be throwing the boxes into one box so we're not all over the place and then we'll get started. First, I'm gonna start off with my brows. As you guys can see, I did not do them yet. I just laid some brow gel over them to shape them up a bit because we got some brow pencils in here. So. We have the Super Slim Brow, which I have gotten before in different shades. Our first PR box, we actually got the Super Slim Brow in this shade, which is, I believe it's black brown. Yes, black brown, but there was actually no product inside of it, so they sent me a new one. Here it is, and we also got the shade Chocolate Brown. Now, most likely chocolate brown is not gonna be my color, so we're gonna go with the black brown, and I'll probably be giving this away. But just to show you guys how this looks. So all the slim brow pencils have the spoolie at the end. And of course, the actual pencil, which is really a fine tip, so you could make like even brush hair strokes. My hair is very dark, so the black brown is most likely gonna be better for me. As you guys can see that, that's the black brown. This is the chocolate brown. This isn't gonna be for a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving this away to one of my friends since I am using it. Uh, but stay tuned if you guys do wanna see some giveaways. I have a triple giveaway coming up soon once I hit a thousand followers on Instagram. We are at 950 currently. So if we can get there, we'll be hosting that three part giveaway, which I'm super excited for. I have tons of items to give away and I appreciate all you guys. So of course, that's why I'm doing it. As I mentioned earlier, I did use brow glue. I used the NYX Cosmetics, the brow glue. I am gonna clean it up because I am personally not a huge fan of pencils for my eyebrows. I love gels and pomades and things of that. That's just a personal preference, but I really do like this pencil. It's working very well. And I love the fact that it has this spoolie on the end to really just t help tame everything down and blend everything out a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eyebrow off camera. And while I am cutting the brows and getting them cleaned up, I will be talking about why we're not on Ruby Kisses Cosmetics PR list any longer. In case you guys are interested in what I'm using to cut my eyebrows, as well as set my base for my eyes, my eyelid for the makeup look we're gonna get into, I am using the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer in shade 845 Warm Beige. Let's get into why we're not on their list anymore. 
and again it is nothing bad at all uh very short story very quick story ruby kisses is officially going global so i'm actually super excited for the brand because i've been a ruby kisses fan if you guys don't know for years like even before i got into makeup and i used to go to the beauty supply store i would always purchase their stuff because it was just always so affordable they are a brother sister brand they're underneath uh we essentials and even on we essentials site all the products are super affordable most of them probably like 95 percent of the products are under ten dollars i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out for the concealer brush i'm using the small concealer from wet and wild and to blend this out i'm using the loris beauty shadow brush the lr110 so again they did go global which is super exciting because now everybody gets to experience ruby kisses cosmetics and all their amazing freaking products unfortunately because they're going global that does mean we're not gonna get any more pr boxes from them i'm not exactly sure why maybe it's just a budget thing but either way they did offer to put me on another pr list for one of their sister and brother brands which i'm super excited about we actually got our first box so we'll be talking about that next month they did give me the option of choosing i envy by kiss if you guys don't know i envy they are a huge lash and eye glue brand i believe they do a couple other things but they're mainly strictly lash products so they gave me the choice of i envy or kiss pro new york now if you guys don't know kiss kiss has a few brother sister brands they have i believe it's kiss pro new york kiss products and i believe there's another one i can't oh i think it's red by kiss and the red by kiss line all their products with the red label uh they actually do give a donation i forgot to who but they do donate part of their profits i did go with kiss pro new york because if you guys know i don't use lashes all the time and i probably only do about two to maximum three looks a week for you guys here on my channel i don't really wear makeup outside too much because of my acne prone skin i went ahead and did kiss pro new york also because they have so many different products they not only have lashes they have all types of makeup brow products brow pencils eye aligners um bronzers I believe they do lipsticks. I think they literally do a little bit of everything. And you guys know I like to have a little bit of everything on my channels. So we went ahead and went with Kiss Pro New York. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting my brows off camera. There's not really much left. I just gotta fix this area up right here. And then we'll start getting into the rest of this box. I didn't get a makeup palette, so I am gonna be using a different palette. I'm going back into one of my older palettes that I have not used in forever. I'm using the Juvia's Place, the Magic Mini throwback, right? I remember when Juvia's Place was, it still is popping, but I remember when they were like first coming out and they were like, the shiznes. So the first shade I'm gonna take, I'm using the Glamere makeup brushes. It doesn't have a name, so I can't tell you exactly which one, but it looks like this. We're gonna go into this first shade here, which is Nana. I'm taking that same shade Nana and just kind of blending out the top because we're going to use another color over this but I do want to just blend it a little bit more so that when we put our third color which you'll see what it is in a second it all blends out evenly and looks very natural and together and the colors don't look so harsh. Now with the same brush I'm going to go ahead and go into Zakia which is this one right here. We're gonna use that to darken up the crease and the Nana shade we just put on. Now I'm gonna go into a smaller blending brush. This is the BTYMS Blending Eyeshadow Brush. I got this brush in a set from Amazon, but they don't sell it any longer. So I don't think you can get it anymore. 
sorry about that guys and the next shade we're gonna go into is Kessie which is this very light kind of tan color right here I'm going to mix that with the Nana shade which is the first shade we used for the crease just to blend out this top color right here which was the Zakia and Nana together Now I do want to deepen up the crease a little bit more so I'm going to go back into the brush I was using before and we're going to go back into Zakia which was that more orangey brown shade. I'm just going to go ahead and darken this outer corner right here. And now with my finger, I'm going to go ahead and go into Boranu, if I'm saying that correctly, which is this very pretty kind of deepish gold right here. We're going to lay that all over the lid. And then for the inner corner, we're going to use the shade Nubia, which I'll show you guys in a second. And we're only going about halfway to the lid, right where we blended out that Zakia color in the outer corner. We're not gonna go past there because we do want everything to blend. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then get into the inner corner highlight when we come back. All right, last color we are using is that Nubia shade for the inner corner. This is more of like a 24K gold kind of gold. So we're gonna use this for the inner corner. I'm taking another brush from the Glare Mirror set. It's very tiny, tiny, dense like brush. And just patting that on and bringing it a little to the lower lash line to give that pop of color. Now we're getting into the next product, which I'm super excited for because this is actually a new launch and new collection from Ruby Kisses. We are getting into colored liners baby now i believe there are six liners in the whole collection we got four from our last two boxes we got the neon green the white the black and the neon yellow i believe they also do have a blue and i can't remember the other color but i'm so sad because i wish i got the blue because you guys know I'm Midnight Moon. I love everything blues and purples. So that would have been lit. And their blue was like such a gorgeous blue from what I saw on the site. Um, but we may look into buying those in the future. Like said, everything at Ruby Kisses is pretty much under $10. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. But we will figure it out as we go. Here is the white. Also, I do have a bunch of makeup on the back of my hand. So just ignore that. Neon green. And guys, I love a good color liner, so I really can't wait to use all of these. I have a whole collection of liners in my drawer, and now I have more. So those are the colors. That is very neon, which I'm loving, loving. And those two colors actually go extremely beautiful together. So we might do a green look next time. We'll see. I did forget to really quickly just cut the eyeshadow a little bit to sharpen it up on the side so when we put our liner it's not all over the place so i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick do that off camera and then we're gonna get into this liner that is the one eye and my gosh this liner, at least the black so far, is super, super pigmented and really easy to use. You do want to be careful because it's not very liquidy, but it is a liquid liner. And I haven't dealt with like liquid liners like this in a while. I do use liquid liners, but they're mostly like felt tip. Uh, if they are like this, they're usually a little bit thicker in consistency, but I still love this stuff. I mean, just look at that sharp wing and the pigment is gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and then we're gonna get into the yellow and figure out what we're gonna do from there. Add a little bit of the black liner on the inner corner to make it look more Egyptian-like, that cat fierce eye. I think what I'm gonna do with the yellow liner is I'm gonna go right along the top of the black just to add a little accent and maybe right along on the inner corner right here, right underneath the black we just did. A 
Okay, so this is how the liner is coming together. Now the colored liners, like the yellow, and I'm guessing the green because I haven't tried the green yet. I'm just giving a, my best guess. Usually color liners are a little bit, not harder to work with, but you have to build them up a little bit. You do have to build this up, but it doesn't crack when you do build it up like most liners, colored liners can. And just look at it. It gives a nice pop of color. It looks very pretty. I absolutely love it. And I will be using these more. You guys gotta get your hands on some of these. Now the next product we're gonna get into is this baby. This is the Ruby Kisses 24 hour eyeliner. It is waterproof and this is in the shade Glittery Gold. We have gotten a few of these before, but not in this shade, of course, different shades. And this one is just so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but this is what it looks like. And you also have the option to smudge with the smudge end, which is really cool. I believe I have the black and I have another one, but I can't remember what color it is. And this is what the gold looks like, the glittery gold. It is very pigmented. Just to show you guys, look how pretty that gold is. And it's gonna go perfect with this look. So I was trying to go for something a little bit gold or neutral so we can use this liner. So that's how it looks compared to the other side. I don't know if you guys can see much of a difference and that might be because we're using yellow and gold already in this look. So it's already just kind of going with everything but it's very pretty. It makes the eyes pop, especially if you have brown eyes like me, you wanna use something that helps everything just pop out a little bit more. It feels really buttery and creamy going on. It glides really smoothly and the pigment goes on very nice. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then we'll get into the next product. So our next product, now this one I'm actually gonna be giving away because I have the same one from a We Essentials purchase I did a while back. If you guys remember my We Essentials haul, we did get this Ruby Kisses Lengthening Waterproof Mascara because I wanted to try it so bad, so I went ahead and bought it. We got it in our box, so I will be giving this away in a giveaway. It is still closed and everything. We're gonna be using this one, of course, the unopened one because it does have shelf life and we don't want to have unnecessary stuff open. We, we don't need it open. So we're gonna use this mascara today. I am gonna put on lashes, but I'm gonna show you how well it works first. I do usually curl my eyes, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then we'll get into this mascara and how it works. All right, now here we go. This doesn't really smell like much, which is something I like and I know a lot of people don't like scent or like that stinky kind of chemically smell. It is an hourglass shaped wand. one coat and as you guys can see it does give a bit of length and definition so it's a good mascara if you're looking for those type of things for your lashes we're gonna do our lashes and lash glue of course off camera for lash glue we're using the INV super strong hold and for lashes we're using the INV feathery style top quality so wispy Remy Hair Lashes. This is in the style 08. So now the next two products we're getting into are these babies right here because they go together, of course. We have the Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Highlighter. This is in the shade Champagne Glow. So you can use this for face and body, but of course we're only using it for face today. This is what it looks like beautiful beautiful pattern going on very beautiful rose in there and this has like a little bit of shimmer and gold in it but it's mostly pink based and then we have the rk by kiss fan brush i love a good fan brush and this actually looks like a good thin one so we're gonna test it out they also do show you how to use it which is always good. And I do love that about Ruby Kisses is that on a lot of their products, they do show you how to use it on the back of most of them. I have a bunch of Ruby Kisses brushes and I haven't been disappointed. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be disappointed in this one. So this is what it looks like up close. Thin again, but not as thin as the ones I've used, which honestly, I, st I still think I'll like this one because I have tried very, very, very like 
fluffy thick ones and I don't like them too well but this one looks like it's gonna work pretty good so we'll see oh that is a very very pretty highlighter just look at that if you guys can see it on camera if it's doing it justice I just actually tried a highlighter close to this this is probably going to be like my dupe for it now which is really funny because they literally look exactly the same color placed onto the face I will so be using this more giving the best glow of life and this fan brush is everything it's super soft and i will definitely probably be using this all the time for my highlighter looks i pretty much just use one highlighter brush which is a fan brush but it's much skinnier um it's actually this one right here it was in use so we didn't use it today and also because we got one right here as you guys can see it is a lot skinnier this was actually one of my favorite ones to use i don't know what the name was because someone gave this to me and i don't think it was a name brand it was like an amazon brand but it was still absolutely amazing it works perfect and it's my favorite brush this is my new favorite one now rk by kiss so if you need a good highlighter fan brush this is it all right my gorgeous babies now we're on to our last product and there's three of them these are the infamous butter balm glosses now i am super excited for these and there's another reason why i'm excited for these because i did want to mention ruby kisses cosmetics had a contest on instagram for national lipstick day if you guessed eight of their butter balm glosses out of 12 you got to win the entire collection now i guessed exactly eight which is hilarious and I won the whole collection. So if you guys want to see swatches on those, on the collection, then stay tuned on my Instagram because I want to do a lip swatch for you guys. So this is the shade Cold Blooded. Just look how gorgeous and pigmented that red is. Beautiful. Then we have White Lie. I think this one is more of a pigmented one. I could tell by opening it. It looks like kind of like a, a milky iridescent kind of color. And the last shade, Naked. Which is most likely the one we're going for today. It looks kind of like a milky, almost rosy brown. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the Ruby Kisses Ultra Easy Lip Liner in shade brown. I'll be right back, I'll do that off camera and then we'll get into this lippy. So that is the lip liner. Tell me that's not a gorgeous color. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our Butter Balm Gloss in Naked, the perfect lip combo. I've tried these lippies before and I absolutely love them. So there we go. That's how it looks. This is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope this was fun, just as much as fun as it was for me. Low pop of color with the color liner is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Also, I do wanna mention, these wispy lashes, even though they weren't part of the PR box, sometimes we did get like other brother sister brands in our boxes. These lashes are absolutely gorgeous. I believe these actually came from another PR box from Ruby Kisses a few months back and I just haven't gotten to use them until now. Uh, these are the wispy Remy lashes. Again, I haven't gotten any of the human hair lashes yet and these are gorgeous. The lash strip is actually very, 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 very thin. Um, and I've never really tried lashes with that thin of a lash uh, line. So that was really cool. And I like how it looks. It just looks very light and feathery and very pretty. Let me know if you guys are going to try any of these products. Are you going to go out and buy them soon? Again, I believe all the products that I've mentioned today are all under $10. You guys can check all the products that were in our PR boxes for today down in the description box below. They will be linked down there if you wanna purchase any. I am not an affiliate with Ruby Kisses. I just 
did get PR boxes, so I do not earn any commission um, or percentage for you purchasing. So just in case you guys were wondering. With that being said, if you're not part of my beauty YouTube family yet, then please do so now and join. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Show your support, give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends and family. And I will see you guys back here next Thursday as always. And as always, y'all stay beautifully awesome. Later.